Question number four from 8.8 .8 is a block of wood. Um, this is my second time recording this because I did it wrong last time and it was such a big mistake that there was just no way to recover. So I made a five minute long video and then hit delete. So I'm going to try this again. Um, I'm going to make this into a net. And the first part of my net that I'm going to create is the, if this was a block of wood sitting on a table, it's this rectangular portion right here that's four and a half by nine. Four and a half by nine. Okay. Then there are these two other rectangular sides. Um, the first one is over here. And let's see, this direction is three and this length is nine. So I'm gonna put that here. So it goes three this way and nine this way. And then the third part is this guy here. This guy also has a length of nine and then this length is three and a half. So, this guy is nine, this guy is three and a half. Okay, so now the difficult part. The difficult part for all of us are the triangles, like the lids. So, um, there's two of them. And this is what I want you to notice. Um, let's have them come off of, let's have them come off of the base. Have it come off of the base. So if I was going to draw this coming off of the base, the 90 degree angle is there. Like say you took a really hefty pair of scissors and this was cardboard and you cut here and you cut here and then you opened it and made it flat. That's what it would look like. So um, I'll draw it here. So this side would be three. Oh, I'm doing it wrong again. It's hard to do. Uh oh. Uh oh, oh, I thought I was going to have to start over again. Okay, how do, I, how do I do this without starting over again? <laughs> this is comedic. All right, let's try this and this. Okay, all right, now I'm going to I'm gonna try for reals, y'all. So, um, I guess it was down here, wasn't it? So this is the angle that's 90 degrees. This side was three, and this side is three and a half. And then I will also do it over here, open it up and lay it flat. Um, whoops, this side is three, and this side is three and a half. Okay, so the part for me that's difficult is the triangle, because if you look at that triangle, um, there's this angle that's 90 degrees, and the thing is, is that a triangle is half of a, of a rectangle, and if you were figuring out the area of a rectangle, you would ignore this side. And in both examples, that side is 4.5, so that's going to be what we ignore. So when we find the area of this triangle, what we're going to do, because the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, we're going to do 3.5 times 3, and then we're going to divide that by 2. So let's figure out the areas of all of these. We've got 27 inches square. We've got uh, 9 times 4.5. 40.5 inches square, and then the blue section is 9 times 3.5, which is 31.5 inches square. 31.5, 31.5, and then the last section is the triangle, 3.5 times 3 divided by 2. Each of those triangles is 5.25. 5.25, and then when we add those all 
all together, we should have the total surface area of that right rectangular prism. Just kidding. Right triangular prism. I didn't hit. Uh, so 109.5. Uh, the units are in inches, and the shape of those inches. I think it's right. Let me know if it's not.